Good evening, Cakes. Good evening, Eddie. How are you doing? I'm fine. Uh, this one just came in like a thief. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, my dear. God forbid bad thing. Thief care. No. I did for my parents' house. Jesus. See, even Jesus is going to come like a thief in the midnight yeah. now. I'm not, I'm not Jesus. <laughs> I'm not Jesus. I'm not Jesus. I'm not Jesus. <laughs> you know, not Jesus, so, but I thank God. I thank God. You I'm very well. I thank God. At least I'm, I'm over my surgery. Um, I just came to say hi to my parents, get my presents, and um, you know, pamper them small before going back to my peeps. But we thank God. How Hope are you? I'm fine. Eh? Hope they're fine. They're good, do you know? Even the baby that they had last week, you know, is getting older. So, not so, not so it be. But we thank God. You know, the funny thing is, this chart could so easily be GA. You understand? On the weekly. Amazing. Yes. yes. <laughs> did it's you so did what I sent about GA yesterday? No. What did you say? I sent I sent something to the group about GA, about its retracements. Oh, okay. What did you send? Sorry, I haven't seen it. I traveled yesterday. Okay, okay. Maybe after the call, you can just read it up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it on the on the managers? No, no, no. Let me just search it up. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I Okay, look at it. I... I sent GBP AUD A plus setup long opportunity at around 1.92439 to target 2.03284. A long bullish swing trade move. What do you want me to do? Put it back. Okay, so what's the price now? That means I don't miss some more. Has it got to that price? No, no, no. It's, it's retracing to the area I around 1.92439. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you for doing that. Yeah, okay. Thank you for doing that. I will check it after the class. Thank okay. you. Okay. Hmm. Hello? Dave, we are waiting for you. Okay, I'm sorry, I was attending to your son. Um, so this is the USD card on the weekly time frame. So we can see that resistance zone, and I just drew this trend line. Then I'm probably waiting for tomorrow to see how the next daily candle will move. Because we came back here and on the daily time frame and it's like after touching there, it has been rejecting, it hasn't made a breakout of this trend line. Or that trend line. So I'm probably thinking of a buy around this region to the next psychological level of one dot four thousand or so. So that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm probably expecting. Because please there's, stands, there's somebody waiting in the distance in the room. Let me So, um, this is what I'm seeing on the weekly time frame. So, when I go down to the daily, it's still bearish. You see how the next candle um, pattern will go for tomorrow. 
and see if it would make a bullish movement or or so. So this will have on USD card. Then I was looking at AUD JPY. Well, um, probably this is coming to make a retest around this region. Yeah. Then that will be where I'll be looking for entry, possible sell entries around 99.242 on the daily time frame. It still shows signs of decline, like probably the price will still decline in the weeks to come. But let's see how the week goes. Then what else? Well, I saw, I'm just expecting a third touch on this trend line around here. Then I'll go for a short term sell to this last low, which will be about like roughly 200 pips or so. My days, it seems like this about 400 people. So, on your CHS, I'm expecting. Are you guys hearing me? Hello, yes, I'm hearing you. Okay, on your CHS, I'm expecting a third touch on this descending trend line because it seems for the past. Weeks there has been decline on the price, it's currently in a serious downtrend momentum. So, I'm looking for possible selling opportunities on this thing still on a downtrend. So, I'm looking for price to come back and make a third touch around here, then give us that bearish momentum maybe and continue falling so i'll be looking at this last low for my ct level which even possibly it should break that level and come in a lower low Film price will even come back after reaching your take this low and from a lower low. But we'll see how that goes. So that's like three sets up currently. Um and also this. Well, this one, I missed this entry around here. This means, so there was this is a 29 now, so it made this breakout and it came back to make a retest and I missed this 
So I scaled down to the four hour time frame. And I did build it. Counter trend line. Hoping for price to come back and replace this region. If price comes back here, I'll decide to go short on USDJPY. Maybe somewhere around here like this. I start to go short. Maybe here should be my SL level. And this last low will be my TP level, which will be about like 500 pips or so. Well, this will be my TP level. So I think this is all I have. Um, this is all I have. I Yes, yes, thank you very much. So I'll stop sharing. There's about like four pairs I'll be looking out for this week. Okay, thank you. No problem. Kings, uh, are you sharing anything for us today? Not today, but later in the week. Yes, not today. What's today? Monday, have you? Yeah, not today, please. But uh, later in the week. I, I'm I'm nearly there now. I'm nearly there. Okay. Okay, nice one. Um, Summer, what sir. about it? Oh, not today. My network is not really... My network is not strong. So, and I can't even enter my trading view now. I don't know why. The network okay. is not good. Let me just share now. Okay. So, um, according to what I did last week, I'm still looking for short opportunities on GBP USD, as um as it is. I did the analysis during the weekend, and then I still know that for definitely. GBP USD is still going to drop, but we we're selling at a very, very high in particular. I was selling at a very, very wrong um, uh, area. So we have this trend line coming up from this bottom, this bottom here yeah, around 2022. Around 2022, yeah. So we had another touch around 2024, April, and then a final touch, which was last week which gave rise to this massive uh, movement to the upside. So for this, I'm still like hanging on to the sell side of it because if you look on the monthly time frame, the trend is still very much bearish because of the double top. If price gets above, um, if price gets above 1.3, 1.3000 uh, psychological level, then I will know that this is no longer a bearish uh, market again because it will invalidate uh, the double top we had on the monthly time frame. Because I don't want to just be on the wrong side of the market if I choose to change my own bias from being bearish to being bullish. I don't want to be that, uh, I don't want to be on the wrong side of the market. Understand? So just going to stick to my bias and then um, look for entry opportunities from the lower time frame. Whenever we see a um, bearish engulfing or, or a, a chart pattern reversal, then we can take this trade downside. This will serve as uh, this will serve as this year will serve as um, a counter trend line. Once we have that break and then the pullback, we'll be looking for short opportunities from um, that area. So this this is my first treat for the week, GBP USD. This is going to be my first treat for the week. Once I see any um, 
any reversal pattern from here i'm going to take this remember it's retesting around one point um thirty thousand so this is a round number psychological number we're shorting i i i went short on this around this area last week which didn't um which didn't work out very well because we're coming um low to retest this trend line that came from 2022 we just reversed yet the upside and then i was still holding it without seeing getting the whole picture so for this week i'm still going to be um waiting for that reversal chart pattern from here or even candlestick pattern to short this once we see the break of this counter trend line we are going to be shorting to the downside reasons i don't want to be on the wrong side of the market since the monthly time frame has told us that the overall trend is um the overall trend is bearish if you focus on the long term momentum i don't care how the market has just been pumping up all i care is when we have that reversal is going to be just uh, massive so this is my first pair for the week next is um gbp aud i spoke about gbp aud um in the group yesterday i said we we're looking for a reversal down to this area where i'll be um waiting for confluences once we have that confluence around this area looking for reversal patterns to this area once we have remember it was settling here um at the end of last week so i'm looking for a reversal down to this area which is also a previous area of, um a previous area of resistance previous area of resistance here also acted as a support so once we retest this area it will mean a very very good one for us as you if you go down to the four hour time frame you can see that the market is still pulling back to this area so once we retest this together with the together with the counter trend line we had from this area counter trend line counter trend line counter trend line a break and then a retest to continue buying this to the upside so this was what i said on um, the group last week and remember so as I said on the group yesterday, I remember we had a double bottom here, which is a chart pattern reversal. We had the W bottom break and then retest of the neckline. So we are expecting that at um, all costs during this week. That should happen um, anywhere between tomorrow and then Wednesday. Whatever time it happens, I'm still going to wait for the market to um, reach to that place. So the next one I also have is gold. Gold, I'm not going to be trading gold for this week till it does this. Um, reason given that um, since we left this area, the market really hasn't put back yet. The market just stuck all above here without any um, signs of bullish momentum. If it, want, if it wanted to move, we would have been seeing a bullish momentum like this consolidation bullish momentum like this then consolidation 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 so we should expect a pushback before we see that uh, push to the upside so for good i'm still going to be waiting for a, a, a pullback still going to be waiting for a pullback around this area before we see that massive uh, momentum to the upside the next pair i want to talk about is uh euro usd so for euro usd also from the weekly time frame we are looking at uh we are looking at a thousand five hundred pip um range thousand five hundred pip range you can see that um 2022 january there about we had this touch here and then coming from the bottom of this channel we had this touch here we had this touch from the top, we had this touch. So we are expecting another touch, a potential touch above this area here to continue selling. And then you can see that liquidity has been built up around this area for a very, very long time. Whenever the market came here, it rejected. Whenever the market came here, it rejected. And then here, it rejected. So people's stop loss, people's stop losses will be uh, below. Here. The reason why I don't want to go long on these base currencies is because 
if you look at what the market is doing, I don't, I don't even, um, I don't even like count how many times it has stopped me out. All I care is I'm following the trend and I want to stay on the right side of the market, even if it means stopping me out for several times. I just want to stay on the right side of the market for now without any um iota of doubt. So that is why I'm still sticking to my sell bias on the base currencies, given that the XY is still um falling, but we are expecting a massive rally to the upside very, very soon, which we also um give rise to the fall of the base currencies. So Can you guys hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Yes, sir. Yes, we're listening. So, um, for this, we are still expecting that downward uh, movement. Once we have the break of this counter trend line, I'll also be looking for short opportunities on um, Euro USD. Once we retest this area here, Once we retest um, this area here, I'm going to be looking for short opportunities with candlestick confirmation, then I will short. And once we break this um, counter trend line here, then I'll be waiting for the retest or I'll add more positions around there. My target is going to be way, way down. It's a long bearish movement. It's a long bearish movement. Anytime it hits TP, it's going to be fine. So. Talked about GBP USD. Talked about um. Talked about good. We talked about GBP AUD. Um, a very very good one. The the best ones I have here is GBP USD. We have GBP AUD. We have um Euro USD. Gold is not really really a good um pair to be trading now because it has to settle down before. We can even like um trade from it, and then for USD, for USD um uh, JPY, I went um it's a it's a counter trend trade. I went long on it early this morning, which is currently floating in profit. So where I'm expecting a the sell opportunity is around the the daily supply area if you go back to the daily you can see that this area we have here is a supply area in the market and then if you come back to the weekly time frame you can see this massive drop from the top of 160 160 psychological level from the top of 160 down to um, 144 you can see that it's a massive drop breaking down below this ascending trend line here so what i simply did was we had two confluences around that um site that we had two confluences we had two confluences around this area here which we have number one we have um fibonacci from swing high to swing low and then we have the supply area here so this is going to be my short area for usdjpy the other currencies are already in their short areas but then i chose um usdjpy because is still very much far away. Last week, it broke down below, retested, and then early this morning, the market just collapsed all the way to the downside, which I found a trading opportunity from this area, and then I joined the um, buy from there. So I'm going to be taking my profit around this area, waiting for the short, potential short opportunities around this area. I also sent this to the group early um, yesterday, I also sent it to the group. So that is just it. Looking for opportunities around this area. Looking for opportunities around this area here. Opportunities around this area. So I spoke about um I spoke about GBP USD, GBP AUD, and then um Euro USD. I was 
So even um, on AUD USD, AUD JPY, um, Dave already spoke on it. This is the supply area we had on the daily time frame together with Fibonacci. This is A, B. Why I'm seeing this line here is because um, Fibonacci rule states that A, B is equals to um, C, D. A, B is equals to C, D. So the movement from here to here, you just clone it. The only thing you have to do is to clone it. Once you clone it, my own is not clicking. But then um, the movement from here to here is the same thing you are going to have from here to here. This is where will be an ideal take profit for this um, um, this currency pair. It's a very, very simple setup I'm looking at for, for this week. If we do have that um, movement to this area, but then I'm not going to be trading on AUD JPY. I prefer uh, USD JPY because it has a much clearer opportunity, giving us room to allow the market to reach its supply zone before we see the collapse of its the downside. So um, the same thing on um, GBP USD, looking for short opportunities on GBP USD around the psychological level of 1.30,000 and then GBP AUD looking for long opportunities around uh, this area here. Once we get the retest of the counter trend line, which has been broken off as of two weeks ago. And then we have zero USD looking for a test of that upward descending um, trend line. So these are all the pairs I'm looking at for the week. Hopefully, if they do, um, hopefully, if they do give us a better trading opportunity, we should be going in on them from Wednesday or even tomorrow evening. So that is just it, guys. That is just it. No problem. Thank you. Yeah. And then Thanks for you so much. For USD card. For USD card, I also wanted to talk about it. Guys, my mom is calling me out. Um, so. Okay. I'm trying to open up my chat on USD card, but it's not opening. US okay, do you want us to... Sorry, do you want to answer your mom? Do you want us to wait for you, or do you want us to cut the class? What do you want? Not at all, please. Let's continue. I'll answer her later. <laughs> I'm like, jam mom. Now, if you go now before you come out there, it will be like tomorrow. <laughs> so, um, on USD card, also, um, same thing. Now we've retested this trend line. You can see. I'm coming. Oh, wow. so guys, nice. so um, you can see this trend line coming up from 2021. We had these touches here. We had these touches here. We had that little fake out down below, and then we got the reclaim above that trend, above this um, this this ascending trend line, and then now we are still expecting. This um, I see expecting a further movement to the upside, given that the overall direction from the weekly time frame and also from the monthly time frame is still very much um, bullish. Is still very much bullish, and then if the card, if the Canadian dollar remains very very um, not strong enough for the USD, we might see that further spike to the upside around these areas here. And then potentially around 1.50 thousand the market. So for USD card, it's a very, very simple setup. You just have to wait for candlestick confirmations 
on the daily time frame, whether bullish engulfing or you come down to the four hour time frame, wait for bullish engulfing candlesticks or you wait for the market to reclaim the counter trend line it has broken. You can see the counter trend line, it broke down below it. You wait for the reclaim and then you pull back. This will be a change of trend from being um, bearish to being bullish again. You enter at the, at the um, next um, higher low the market makes. So it's a very, very simple setup also for us to trade. But it's not, it's not among the it's not among the list of things I want to trade for this week. The list of things I want to trade for this week are just um these ones here. So I think we've done justice to this now. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I think we've done justice to this now. So we should be looking forward to us um seeing these trades play out very, very well. GBP USD already in. And then GBP AED, waiting for that pullback here. Good is not really in a good position to trade down. Just waiting for a retest around 24, uh, 24,000. And then Euro USD, waiting for a retest around this area before we furthermore see lots of the euro to the downside. USD JPY waiting for the move up to this area 153, 152 to see the collapse of um, the dollar yen to the downside. So um, I'm going to leave you guys now, ladies and gentlemen. We will talk during the week. No problem. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome.